the former Dublin and Australian rules footballer Jim Steins will be honoured with a state funeral in his adopted home in Melbourne, Australia. He died at the age of 45 after a long battle against cancer. He was regarded as one of the greatest Australian rules footballers of all time. A little too far, it doesn't matter. He's got An iconic figure both on and off the field of play. Jim Steins was a true footballing great, but leaves an equally enduring legacy in his life outside the sport he graced. He won an All-Ireland minor medal with Dublin in 1984 before moving to Melbourne to try his luck at Australian rules football. He quickly adapted and became one of the greatest ever to play the game. He played 264 games and in 1991 he became the only recruit from outside Australia to win the prestigious player award, the Brownlow Medal. Well, I'll go away and I'll do something and hopefully one day I can come back and say I've achieved something, I've done something. You know, and people can say, yeah, you did it, you know, you... you, you You've done something different. Off the pitch, he worked tirelessly for his charity, the Reach Foundation. He was elected president of Melbourne Football Club in 2008. The following year, he was diagnosed with cancer. He underwent brain surgery six times over the last three years in a very public battle and featured in a compelling documentary about the illness. Because I've often said to him, you just can't leave me here on my own to do this. Because he was always, you know, he's the one there at the end of the day when I'm a mess. And... He died at home in Melbourne, surrounded by his family and friends. His wife said he died pain-free, dignified and peaceful. The GEA president, Christy Cooney, said he was a hugely respected and admired figure. And the Australian Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, described him as an absolute legend. In his short 45 years, he lived a courageous and truly remarkable life.